Hi, I'm Tom from Shaw UK and welcome to the Shaw UK boardroom. Today we're going to look at signal to noise ratio and how the difference in placement of microphones can really, really make a difference. There are two types of sound that go around in boardrooms. Firstly, signal and lastly, noise. The signal is what you do want to pick up, in this instance, my voice. The noise is other stuff in the room or other sound in the room that's considered not signal and stuff you don't want to pick up. For example, air conditioning units, fridges, coffee machines or loud people typing on keyboards, for example. The placement of the microphone is really, really critical into minimising this. At the moment, there's one microphone straight in front of me, largely away from other noise sources, which is why you can hear me nice and clearly. Let's move the microphone. So, we've just moved the microphone a little bit further away from me and it's now optimised positionally for someone that would be sitting here. For the purpose of this video, we've notched the level of the microphone up so the sound of my voice should be at the same volume. What you'll notice in my voice though is it'll be a little bit thinner because I'm a little bit further away from the microphone. In addition, you should start to hear a little more room sound, probably only a small amount, but a little more room sound. So again, slightly less signal and more noise proportionally entering the microphone. Now, the, diff the distance between me and my um, colleague Andrew and his uh, loud, aggressive typing is now proportionally closer together than we are to the microphone. So, even though he's still even further away from the mic than he was the previous time, he should still be proportionally a little bit louder. Let's move the mic again. So, we've just moved the mic into the third and final position for today. Again, we've gain matched the microphone so the volume of me will be exactly the same as it was in the first and second positions. My voice should be even thinner and as well as my voice, with no, no extra noise in the room, you will still be picking up extra room noise as well. This could be the air conditioning or it could be the just general room acoustics as well. Now imagine listening to this from a far end meeting but uh, a video conference call, it would get quite distracting, especially when um, other people are still typing in a room. Again, Andrew is at his furthest from the microphone, but proportionally he and I are still quite close together now, so that as far as the microphone is concerned, we're in a similar area, which is why it'll be picking up quite a lot of Andrew as well. Let's move Andrew this time. That was quick. So, now let's listen to what Andrew sounds like while I carry on talking if he keeps on typing. Now, the microphone is still set for the right sensitivity for me, but the source of noise is now much, much, much closer to the microphone, which is why the signal to noise ratio is really not appropriate. So, we've now fixed our microphone placement issue by bringing the microphone nice and close to me. And it should be quite relieving that my audio is now really, really clean and solid compared to the, uh, the noise that we had in the room a little while ago. So the positioning of the microphone is true for goosenecks like this, for boundary microphones and also for ceiling microphones. Placing them close to the sound source and away from sources of noise is always important. This is still true for ceiling array microphones when placed in the ceiling as well. Try to place them nice and, nice and far away from air conditioning units wherever possible to always maximise your signal to noise ratio. And to enhance and improve the quality of the audio going from your room through the video conference call to the far end.